By the powers vested in me as Chancellor, I declare this congregation open for the awarding of degrees and diplomas of the University of South Wales. And I invite the Deputy Vice-Chancellor, Ben Calvert, to address the congregation. Please be seated, ladies and gentlemen. Pro-Chancellor, graduates, honoured guests, congregation, it is my great delight to welcome you on this special day. Formally, it is our academic recognition of your considerable talent and a collective celebration of your individual endeavour. But it is also our opportunity to say thank you to everyone else here who has supported you. So parents, families, friends, you may have thought that your purpose today was to sit there in rather a benign way and watch our graduates walk across the stage to become graduates. But actually, you've got more of a role than that. Your job is to make sure that when they do so, they are under no illusion as to how proud you are of them. And you can do that in a variety of ways. You can clap really, really loudly. You can shout their name. You can yodel, you can holler, you can do whatever. So that is your job. In fact, that is your requirement. Perhaps the best way of us to test that is through the medium of a rehearsal. So after three, one, two, three. Usually, that takes two goes. I don't think we need to do that today. Thank you very much for your, for your vocal cords. As graduates of this university, you are the latest learners in a line that goes back to 1841 and has its roots much earlier. Our story at USW goes back to the early days of the Industrial Revolution, when some far-sighted leaders of business and their profession, professions created small, specialist institutions of higher learning to educate the brightest minds of their younger generation. They would be proud now to see how their small colleges have grown into a major international university. A university that adds value to our society, to our economy, and most fundamentally, changes the lives of bright young people like you. You are part of a vigorous academic community of all nations and beliefs. The graduates who have gone before you are already making their mark, whether they studied the arts or business, humanities or sciences. Across Britain and many countries around the world, there are graduates of your USW, and maybe that's one for the future over there, <laughs> leading businesses and becoming experts in their professions. They are engineers, sports professionals, artists, teachers, entrepreneurs, business leaders, police officers and nurses. They all have something in common that goes beyond their success in work. They know, as we do, that having a degree also has a deeper function. Graduates like you have developed the healthy scepticism and flexibility of thought that we hone through a university education. You have challenges, but you also have unparalleled opportunities to make a difference. And more than that, every one of you has talent, every one of you has intellect, and every one of you has commitment and the capacity for hard work. And now, you have the qualification to prove it. As I start this ceremony, I would like you to remember three things. You deserve to be here today. Your hard work is a credit to you, and we are all very proud of you. Thank you, and well done. Gedewch i the fod yn hysbys i aelodau'r brifysgol ac i bawb sy'n yma'n bresennol y cynhelu'r cynulliad o Brifysgol De Cymru yn ninas cas newydd ar yr wythfed o'r ffennaf 2019. 
heddiw, an rhededdol ysgolheigion sydd wedi profi drwy ei deallusrwydd a'i hymdrech ysgolheigaidd ei bod yn gymwys i gael ei derbyn ar gyfer graddau a chymwysterau'r brifysgol. Drwy anrhydeddu ei cyrheiddiad, gydewch i'r rheini sydd yma'n bresennol gyd nabod ei hymrwymiant a dathlu ei llwyddiant. Bydd soddwn ein gobeithiwn an disgwyliadau ynddynt gan obeithio y byddant yn rhoi eu talent a'u disg ger bron eu proffesiwn a'u cymunedau. Hyderwn y byddant yn cyfrannu at ddyfodol ein cymdeithas gydag anrhydedd a chlod. Let it be known by members of the university and all here present that a congregation of the University of South Wales is held in the city of Newport on the 8th day of July 2019. Today, we honour scholars who have demonstrated through their intellect and scholarly effort that they are qualified to be admitted to the degrees and qualifications of the university. In honouring their achievement, let all here present recognise their dedication and celebrate their success. We invest in them, our hope and expectation they will put their talent and learning at the service of their professions and our communities. We trust that they will contribute to the future of our society with honour and distinction. Thank you. Chancellor, I present to the congregation the Faculty of Business and Society candidates that have been awarded the Bachelor of Arts in Business Studies, European College of Business and Management, Aachen. Ellen Droll. <laughs> Stephanie Edmeyer. Jacqueline Kura. <laughs> Anita Martens. <laughs> Ivona Potast. <laughs> Matja Schmidt. Bachelor of Arts in Business Studies, European College of Business and Management, London, Thomas Muller. <laughs> Christiana Quintus. <laughs> Julia Maria Raga. Pro Chancellor, that concludes the awards for the Faculty of Business and Society. Pro Chancellor, I now present to congregation the Faculty of Life Sciences and Education candidates that have been awarded the Doctor of Philosophy. Amanda Jane Thomas. <laughs> Got to tell you what she's done. <laughs> In recognition of a programme of work entitled Exploring the Role of Schemas Within the Welsh Foundation Phase Curriculum, the programme was carried out under the direction and supervision of Dr Catherine Jones, Dr Kevin Crowley and Dr Karen McInnes, Faculty of Life Sciences and Education. Master of Arts in Child and Adolescent Mental Health, Maria Haddon. The Master of Arts in Education, Kate Ritchie.
the Master of Arts in Special Educational Needs, Pavin Achta Iqbal. The Master of Arts in Special Educational Needs and Additional Learning Needs, Craig Keane. <laughs> Rachel Unsworth. <laughs> Joanne Williams. The Master of Arts in Teaching English to Speakers of Other Languages, Rizal Siddiq. <laughs> the Postgraduate Certificate in Learning and Teaching in Higher Education, Claire Churcher. <laughs> Karen Davis. Natalie Davis Dixon. <laughs> Rebecca Gill. <laughs> Donna Pace. <laughs> Siva Gunalan Sivanathan. Heather Wadley. <laughs> Steve Walden. <laughs> the Postgraduate certificate, certificate in Special Educational Needs and Additional Learning Needs. Rubayayat May Jabin. Postgraduate Certificate in Special Educational Needs and Additional Learning Needs, Autism, Eleanor Wilson. <laughs> the Postgraduate Certificate in Special Educational Needs and Additional Learning Needs, Catherine Owen. Bachelor of Arts in Education, Learning and Development, Colleague Moyd Estridmanach, Bethan Grace. <laughs> Leona Evans. <laughs> Nicholas Rees Hogg. Sean Leah Kirby. <laughs> Vicky Marchant. <laughs> Susan Wakefield. <laughs> Chloe West. Rachel Williams, <laughs> Tony Louise Yearsley, Now, ni now, Glowed, Datagani at Ketharal, Gan Vavoru at Ogoleg, Branhenal Keth, a drama Cymru. A vid and gradia, Aleni, the gradai, Bagior, a Meister Mount, Ketharyaith, O Brivoskol, de Cymru. We now hear a musical interlude by students from the Royal Welsh College of Music and Drama. 
Our National Conservatoire is part of the wider University of South Wales family. These talented performers will graduate with Bachelor of, and, uh, and Master of Music degrees of the University of South Wales and we congratulate them most warmly. Llongavarki Adai. And performia are in cover ni heddiw mai Tom Dalby Quartet. A and Quarai, they will be playing, Down by the Riverside, I Want to Be Like You, Under the Sea. Pradhidigion Gwestion, graduates, honoured guests, please give a warm welcome to Tom Dolby Quartet.
Bachelor of Arts with early years practitioner status in early years education and practice. Sally Ann Acton. The Early Years Award for Outstanding Student Development, Halima Ali. <laughs> Helen Ali. <laughs> Megan Ascroft. Lowry Ball. <laughs> Megan Burt. <laughs> Zoe Bryant. <laughs> Lauren Cook. Chris Louise Davis. <laughs> Emily De Rossi. <laughs> Georgina Elias. <laughs> Georgia Maria Goss. Josie Hale. <laughs> Megan Harris. <laughs> Jasmeet Kaur. <laughs> Bryony Knox. Early Years Award for Outstanding Contribution to Placement, Shannon Matthews. <laughs> Stephanie Lynn Mackay. <laughs> Rebecca Jane Parkinson. <laughs> Cara Rees. Victoria Roth. <laughs> Georgia Madison Rogers. <laughs> Charlotte Scott. <laughs> the Early Years Award for Outstanding Achievement, Hannah Silcox. Holly Jane Skiffington. <laughs> the Early Years Award for Best Dissertation of the Year, Amy Ellen Taylor. <laughs> Sophie Elizabeth Thomas. Katie Louise Vanston. <laughs> Terry Ann Rosina. <laughs> the Bachelor of Science in Social Work, Caroline Boyle. Marie Crockett. <laughs> Alexandra Holly Faulkner. <laughs> Amy Flynn. <laughs> Rachel Elizabeth Frame. Griffiths, <laughs> Emma
Emily Jane Hunt. <laughs> Helen Jones. <laughs> Laura Martin. <laughs> Anna Maria Melbourne. Siobhan Lauren Meredith. <laughs> Annabelle Jane Phillips. <laughs> Hannah Prosser. <laughs> Darcy Mackenzie Ravenhill. <laughs> Laura Ann Louise Reed. <laughs> William Roberts. <laughs> the Social Work Award for Outstanding Achievement, Nicola Joanne Stringfellow. Robin Walters. <laughs> Michaela Williams. <laughs> Ella Zakaria. Foundation degree in Arts in Early Years Care and Education, Colleg Kamoy Ustinmanach, Rebecca Donovan. <laughs> Tegan Farina Bray. <laughs> Holly Chelsea Pitt. Adele Smothers. Yeah. Marika Eileen Anna Sabo. <laughs> the Foundation Degree in Arts and Learning Support, Cardiff and Vale College, Barry. Stephanie Condon. <laughs> Jade Davis. Woo! Deborah Goldsworthy. Claire Jeremy. Tracy Nugent. Elisa Joanne Robato. <laughs> Olivia Thomas Rosser. <laughs> the Foundation Degree in Arts and Learning Support, Gower College, Swansea. Theon Burridge. Hannah Lauren Sarsfield. <laughs> Catherine Williams. <laughs> Poor Chancellor, that concludes the awards for the Faculty of Life Sciences and Education. Congratulations. And now you can go and celebrate. Well done.
congregation, colleagues, friends, guests. And now I am the first person to call you graduates. Today has contained great moments of formal academic ceremony. For all of you in the audience, it is a moment of pride. On this platform, we've shared your pride and your tears as they crossed the stage. They did it. But so many of them didn't do it alone. You consoled them when they were down, you lifted them up as they tried, you guided them, and you were there for them. We'd like to say thank you, and I think you all deserve a round of applause. For us on the stage, it is the highlight of the university year. There are 3,000 staff at this great university. They have taught, mentored, fed, supported, counseled, assisted, reminded, and encouraged those graduates, and I suspect on occasions helped to get them out of bed in the morning. Seeing your success is why we all do it, but I want to give you the chance to clap and thank everyone who has worked so hard to enable you to achieve your potential today. But graduates, but graduates, most of all, today is a celebration for you. Today is the moment that we, as an academic community, say that you are one of us, that you share our values, and that you are going to take those values out into the world. We know from personal experience that the higher education this university provides is valued tremendously by your future employers. And the university's success in fitting its students for the world of work is a source of justified pride. But I do believe that our role as a university lies fundamentally in educating citizens who will ask constructively critical questions in public life. That means helping other people to see what critical arguments look like, to see what genuine thinking is, and to explore great issues in an atmosphere of respect and positive expectation. Now, those are the timeless values of a university itself, and we hope that these are now your values also as scholars and graduates of our university. Each one of you are now ambassadors for both the University of South Wales and for what we are all trying to achieve. Today, you move. You move from being our students to being our alumni. But you remain part of our university with our shared commitment to the transformation of lives through knowledge and education. We trust that your time at University of South Wales, you will have broadened your horizons, opened up pathways to exciting opportunities in your career, and filled you all with a spirit of inquiry and a desire for lifelong learning. We wish you good luck in your future endeavors. We rejoice in your success. You've earned this. Well done. Good luck and thank you. I now declare this degree congregation of the University of South Wales closed. And now, Kisavis Agovad, Arantham Ganadlethal, Osqualic of Please stand for the Welsh National Anthem. <laughs> 